Tim Pool. Okay, we got to talk about Tim Pool. Tim Pool is, oh my God, I can't stand watching his show. And and the thing is, a lot of people talk about Tim Pool. I don't understand how po how he's gotten so popular. It doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. But all right, maybe he just ha says the right things to make people like a certain group of people's ego feel really good. Tim Pool's content is generally very very boring to me. Like, very boring. Like, I don't like watching Tim Pool's content. But occasionally, Tim Pool has a take that's so atrocious and so bad that I don't think that it can be ignored. I just don't think that we can stand by and ignore everything that Tim Pool says because he's boring. Boringness is, interestingly, a way that some people get away with pushing all kinds of bullshit. And this is some real bullshit. So let me show you what the fuck we're actually talking about. All right? What did Tim Pool do this time that made Mama so mad? Well, here we go. Let me just show you. Here we go. Tim Pool started with tweeting this, and then he did a video on it. Ready? Bam. Tim Pool. People are dying right now. Families are barred entry to the hospitals. Nurses and doctors are dancing on the grave of the dead while you can only watch from a distance. Comic credit to G Prime 85. Now, Tim loves this guy. He literally has a print of his art in his studio. You can see it in the videos. Let's look at the comic. I'll miss you, Dad. I only wish that I could have held your hand one more time. Ah! And then we have this grim image of a dead dad, a sad person, and some dancing nurses and doctors in the background. Sorry, Rantanic. Does anybody even know what this is referencing? Do you even know what this is referencing? Does any, who here? Here, let's do a quick vote. Let's let's do a quick vote. Did I do it right? There we go. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. All right. Damn. More people say no. Okay. That's interesting. That's actually a good sign. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So for, for the 51% of you who don't know what this is referencing, this is referencing a, um, a very, don't balance it. The point is to get an actual image pen as you agent of chaos. Um, so this is referencing a, what I would call a very minor fad. All right, a minor fad on TikTok. Y'all know TikTok? TikTok is an app that people share little short videos, usually with music. Um, and there's been a, like a really minor fad of some hospitals um, putting up like a video of nurses and doctors dancing in their time off. And you might think, what the fuck is wrong with that? Like your initial response might be, what the fuck is wrong with nurses dancing in their time off? Well, Tim Pool's going to try and tell us. So let's just jump in and let's see what Tim Pool has to say about it. Because boy, oh boy, did Tim Pool have an interesting takeaway. And also, interestingly, so did this comic maker. We're going to watch the video that Tim Pool did on it. And we're going to talk about My this friends, a little bit. My friends, I am so... Because the result of this is some of the most heinous and malignant propaganda that I can possibly imagine. I don't know how anyone benefits from this propaganda, even the, the far right. This is death cult shit. Oh yeah, we're going to talk about the artist who does those comics after, but we're going to talk about Tim Pool first. So let's watch Tim Pool's little coverage of this. Ready? Let's go. We're going to react. Let's do this together. Absolutely sick of seeing dancing nurse videos on TikTok, and I've already seen a whole lot. It's been a year, and they keep doing it. You'd think they would have learned, but I guess this is a really good example of social media reinforcement, and 
Well, the illusion. What does social media reinforcement mean? I don't really know what that means, but all right. ...of support. If you ban all of the negative uh, speech and all that's left is positive speech, you will be driven insane right now. There are certain individuals. This is what I say when I, this is what I, this is why I say Tim Pool is stupid as shit. Like that doesn't even make any sense. What is he even referring to? It's the vaguest shit I can imagine. If you ban all negative things, good things won't exist. Uh, what? What, what are you, what are you talking about? What? I'm sorry. Can we listen to that again and try and figure out what the fuck he was trying to say? I, I'm just flabbergasted here. Example of social media reinforcement and social media reinforcement. Well, the illusion of the support. illusion of support. If you ban all of the negative, you ban all the negative speech, speech. and all that's left is positive speech, all you will be positive. driven insane. You will be driven insane. So we're watching negative speech right now. In fact, Tim Pool, as I mentioned before, this video has 400,000 views. This is, and again, I'm telling you this because I've seen this one. This isn't a fresh react, unfortunately. But this is explicitly negative coverage. And let me just show you how negative it gets. Let's go. Right now. There are certain individuals who have put out videos that have been critical of the vaccine. Those videos have all been deleted. There are people who put out videos cheering and dancing and, you know. You're doing one right now. And this video has not been deleted. Down in the hospitals and those videos are promoted. So guess what you get more of? Le no citations, by the way. Just saying whatever the fuck he wants. Less criticism, less accountability, more nonsensical time wasting and it makes everybody go nuts. I have this story no, from it makes Daily you go Nurse, nuts, Tim the Pool. Pulse of Nursing. I don't know nuts. what Daily Nurse is. But they mention and they show videos of all the doctors doing... I don't know what Daily Nurse is, and yet you're going to use it as a citation? Yeah, hey, Devious Chillster. Yeah, we're doing we're doing Tim Pool, unfortunately. But let's go. The choreographed dance and having a good time, trying to encourage everybody to go get that vaccine. And sure, fine. But come on. You mean to tell me that when all these hospitals are overloaded and they post these pictures of like, the, the, there's like one viral photo of a nurse with her mask off and you can see the lines in her face and she looks all like, you know, messed up. That's not one viral photo. There are literally thousands of, we're not giving, wait, 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 Cass Umbra. This is not free coverage. Uh, no offense. I'm sorry, but that's not how platforming works. This guy's video has 400,000 views. We have to react to it. We cannot afford to ignore people like Tim Pool. There has to be counter to this. 400,000 views on this video since like two days ago. We're not giving him free coverage. He's getting free license to publish bullshit. So that's why we're doing it. I'm not mad at you. I'm just telling you why because she's been working long shifts wearing this PPE. There are certain hospitals that are definitely hotspots that are that are being completely inundated, and most hospitals are not. And it's really frustrating, because I see these videos, there's like this one, there's like a bunch of viral videos of a guy going to hospitals and nothing's going on. Oh yeah, that video. The viral video of somebody going to hospitals, literally just driving in his truck and going, doesn't look like there's a whole bunch of cars here. Hey, guess what? As it turns out, when your hospital has to be shut down and the ICU is what's being used predominantly, people who are dying from COVID aren't going to drive there with their car. Literally so stupid. So motherfucking stupid. The problem we have here hey, is Lanny. that you don't have an honest media. You don't. You don't have honest representatives. You don't. Okay. Now I'm I'm gonna start by by really getting into talking about dancing nurses, but I know a lot of prob uh, probably a lot of you want more serious conversation from the New York Times. So this is where he spins over into something completely unrelated, but we're gonna watch it anyway. How much herd immunity is enough? Scientists initially estimated 60 to 70 percent of the population needed to acquire resistance to COVID to banish it. Now Anthony Fauci and others are quietly shifting that Me number. Me too, upward. devious. It's not the first time that Anthony Fauci has admitted to lying to us. This is not lying. This is not lying at all. This is him 
literally reacting to new information that comes out. And remember, we've talked about this on this channel multiple times, but just in case, just in case nobody knows this yet, herd immunity does not work. There has never, never in the history of humanity been a pandemic defeated by herd immunity. And even if it were possible, the cost would be unfathomable. In fact, it's so ridiculous, this is not even what herd immunity means. Herd immunity is not when everybody gets sick and therefore everyone is immune to the disease. Herd immunity is when you are able to immunize enough of the population that people who are allergic to vaccines are insulated from ever catching it in the first place. The right wing has made an alternate definition for herd immunity that is literally destroying the brain of America. Like straight up destroying our brain because they keep saying herd immunity and they're using the wrong term for the wrong thing. It will never work. No legitimate scientists are signing off on the herd immunity approach. Any of the countries that have attempted, aka the UK and the US, have seen unfathomable amounts of death. And just to sell this point home, because I think this is really fucking important, I just want to take a little minute here and look at our old friend. Let's take a look here. Let's just take a look. Because I want to show you what we're fucking talking about here. Are you ready? You ready to take a look at the United States? I want you to see this. This is where we were in the first spike when we all went into lockdown. Here's we are where we were in the second spike. This is where we are in the third spike. And a fourth spike is coming. Do you see how much bigger it's getting every single time? And do you know how many people? And listen, we were struggling at this point. We are really struggling now. And soon, there isn't going to be a struggle anymore. There will be no struggle to be had. Because it will be so bad that we won't be able to do damn near anything about it. And I'm sorry if that makes you feel doom. But this is what we have to talk about when we are countering people like Tim Pool. Okay? So let's get back into this. That's what he's talking about here. He's talking about ignoring this wave and just letting more waves happen until 60 to 70% of all people in America have had it. Hey, you all, any of you had COVID in here? Has anyone in my audience had COVID yet? As anyone, if you have, just, you know, you don't have to out yourself. But if you have and you're comfortable with it, tell us if you've had it. You have. Okay? We've got one. Never got COVID. Nope. Guess what? All right, so we have two so far. All of you who said no, under Tim Pool's plan, you should, under, if you believe in what Tim Pool is saying, you should go out and let people cough in your face right now. Because his goal will be to give everyone COVID in this country. I'm very glad to hear that, Gina. I'm glad that it passed, that, that nobody else caught it. You did? So we have three. We've had three. So those of you three who've had it, how would you feel about everyone else in this chat catching it? Those of you who had it, how would you feel if everyone else in this chat had it? Do you feel good about that? Do you think that everyone in this chat who hasn't had it would feel good going through what you went through? Yeah, it would be it would be pretty bad, yeah. See, that's what I thought. I'm not the, it's not like I'm the only fucking person saying this. Just figured we would be able to talk about it. Yeah. And I'm very sorry for those of you who've been sick with it. I hope most of us stay immune from it, okay? I don't even know. I got sick at the beginning of the year and I suspect it was COVID and it was one of the most miserable things I've ever experienced. Five days of being unable to leave bed. My chest felt like it had a fog in it. And I don't even know if it was COVID. I turned up negative, but that was before they realized there were two strains. So I might have even had COVID and just gotten the wrong test. And there's no way to know. 
and yes, I'm very and and yes, Leah. Well, guess what? What Tim Pool is advocating for here is that people like Leah and people like Devious Chillster should die, and I am not okay with that. Are you okay with that, chat? If you are not okay with our fellow chatters dying so that Tim Pool can has his way, if you are not okay with that, I want you to get the biggest mama mauled that you can possibly imagine in chat right now, okay? We are coordinating an anti-COVID mama mauled. So load your mama mauls in three... Those of you who've already typed a mama mauled, you're going to need to clear your thing. Don't do it yet. We're going to count down. Everybody clear. Type something other than mama mauled. Okay? Clear your thing so the bot doesn't block you. Okay? Load. Ready. Three. Two. One. Mama mauled. Not bad, but I don't think that's good enough. I'm going to need to see a little bit more energy. Stop the mama molding. Stop the mama molding. One mama mold is all you get. And no combo breakers. If you break this combo before it reaches our previous record, I'm going to have to mute you. All right? Clear. Everybody clear it. That was honorable, but not good enough. That was the practice round. One more time. Clear your cash. Put something else other than mama mold. Okay? No fucking combo breakers or I'll mute you. Okay? Everyone loaded? All right. Three. Two. One. Mama mauled. There we fucking have it. There we fucking have it! 50 fucking five! Now, that is why... I'm screaming about Tim Pool right now because I know there's a lot of fucking people out there. No, 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 don't mute for that. We broke the we broke the record. Don't mute. Don't mute. Unmute. No, Gina, unmute. We broke the record. That was fine. They didn't break the rules. We broke it. We broke the combo. Unmute. You're all good. You're good. All right? No, you're good, big boy. Don't worry. We got to 55. You're fine. All right? 55 is our newest record. 55 combo. Okay? That's incredible. And the reason why I thought this would be fun is because I... Not fun, but interesting. Is because I know that there's a lot of people out there who do not want to see members of our community who are immunocompromised fall ill. And if that's the case, we have to push back very hard against shit like this. Because Tim Pool's messaging is literally going to lead to the deaths of people we love and care about. And that is not acceptable to me. And clearly, that is not acceptable to you. But here's the reality. We're going to have to think a lot harder than just mama molds for this. We have to be willing to take action to fight against this. Okay? So let that be on your mind as we're watching this segment. All right? All right, let's continue. Okay, this is the important part of this segment. I'm not going to talk about dancing nurses, but I do want to get this off my chest. And I just, I just I, I'm sorry, man. This video is going viral. I hate this BS. Okay, I, it's got 1.3 million views. Now, I don't know what this video is, to be honest. It, it's, it's got a Tim Pool, why do you even bother reporting on anything if you don't do any research into anything that you do? I don't know what this is. I don't know what this website is. Tim Pool is a piece of shit. Tim Pool is a lazy, dangerous piece of shit. In any other country, reporting like this would, would, would get you a fucking fine. Reporting this disingenuous would get you a fucking fine especially in the middle of a pandemic. And we're lucky that we live in a country where instead of getting a fine or anything like that, we get to challenge this in the, uh, in the arena of ideas. Unfortunately, it will probably cost a lot of people their lives, which, wow, that sucks. It's being filmed with a really nice camera and gimbal. 
makes it seem like the camera is kind of floating and there's, there's good depth of field. So it might just be some promo video. But these people are dancing and it's choreographed. Here's what you need to okay, understand. Who cares? Maybe these aren't really doctors. That's the first, th first thing I'll say. I've already seen more than enough videos of doctors actually doing messed up stuff. Like, remember when the nurses were slammed for filming themselves dancing with a body bag? By the way, this was from March. Just so you know, this is how fucking pissed off Tim Pool still is from a Daily Mail article from March about some fucking uh, thing that nurses did to show how bad it was. And obviously, this isn't a real body bag. This is This is a poor taste joke but who fucking cares just so you know no joke they were dancing and shuffling as they carried a not it's not real <laughs> it just says it, it's just a person in a i don't know if it's a person but it's just them carrying a body which is absolutely insane do you know but why you they did that they did that to raise awareness to the fact that there were bodies being put in refrigerated trucks in new york city in chicago in LA that there was not enough room in hospital morgues so there were there were bodies being piled up in refrigerated trucks I'm not kidding you get videos like this and there's just something I have to say about this okay at a time when we're being told the end is nigh Anthony Fauci says don't worry we can accomplish herd immunity and then he keeps moving the goalposts so he's lying the whole time when he told he's never said that by the way Anthony Fauci has never signed off on herd immunity us earlier this year don't wear masks he was wrong and then he admitted it was all on purpose also this is false and i'm going to contest this once again it is not that anthony fauci was wrong it's that they didn't have the supplies to make sure that doctors could have the ppe they needed and so the government instructed people to not make a rush on ppe otherwise doctors might not be able to get the protection they need to stop the outbreak and that's exactly what happened and then once that passed then anthony fauci said actually you can now go buy ppe but they didn't want to do that to begin with. So once again, now Tim Pool has repeated this lie over and over and over again, and it is an absolute lie. A complete piece of misinformation that he gets away with spreading. Because they were worried they wouldn't get masks for the important people. Yeah, doctors, you fucking idiot. That's right. That's authoritarianism. The idea that's not authoritarianism. That's called triage. That's called you have to protect the person who can heal you. If you have a broken arm, you better make sure that your doctor has gloves. The person with the broken arm doesn't need gloves. That you're too stupid as an individual, that your rights don't matter, and that we should withhold information from you because we're smarter than you. How stupid do you now think Tim Pool thinks his audience is? And there are real problems with liberty and freedom. With more liberty and freedom comes more risk. And that's the choice this country made a long time ago. Those that would give up freedom for a little bit of security deserve neither and will lose both. That's something we need to recognize. As we see these absurd videos claiming that, you know, 0.1% uh, uh, you know, likelihood of, of dying so far, and mostly if you're above the age of 70, is grounds for shutting down the entire global economy, to me, is irresponsible and ridiculous. Because it's just going to keep getting... How dare this motherfucker talk about what is irresponsible as he pushes a narrative that has been unilaterally denounced that is going to kill hundreds of thousands of more people as he casts doubt on a vaccine, the only way we will ever have any hope of ending this pandemic. How dare you? Worse. And while they destroy small businesses, while they strip away your right to work, and then you, you want to know what else? Listen, the lies is just unbelievable. You want to know who destroyed small businesses? Remember when Mitch McConnell and the Republican Senate made it possible for massive corporations to get benefits from the PPP, the personal P pandemic protection program, and corporations like Amazon and Tyson Foods and Walmart took money from that pool. 
and it never went to small businesses? Yeah, guess who it was? It was corporate Republicans. You see videos going viral with millions of views of choreographed dancing from nurses. You want to know why people I disagree probably with that are take, losing faith or, or losing, you know, hope? It's because of things like this. You tell me. No, it's because of people like you. You tell you, me Tim, we're desperate. You Tim tell Pool. me things couldn't get any worse, and then you start doing the, you know a little shuffle dance. Not right now. Maybe, maybe there might be actually. We'll the nurses that are doing the choreographed dancing are not just taking breaks. That's the I'll lie. talk about that after. They say these nurses are just you know morale boosting and they're taking breaks. Things are stressful at the hospital. You haven't even researched your sources. You absolute fucking clown. Tim Pool, you haven't even, you admitted to not even researching your fucking sources. What do you mean? You cannot make any declarative statements about this. And taking a few minutes to do a little dance, well, that's important. Because it makes people feel calm, makes them feel better when they're witnessing all of this death. Full stop. Don't even say it. Did you watch any of these videos? Some of them are silly nonsense, like people just shuffling in the hallway. We got one video that, that's been around since May 24th. I don't, again, I want This is from May. This is from May. I'm sorry, Senia. I'm doing my best, but I'm very angry at this segment. I'll do my best, but I can't, I can't make any promises. This makes me very angry. I want to be very careful. In this video, you have someone filming and complaining that all of these nurses or whatever are dancing, mopping, and waving their arms, and they're like, why are we waiting? We're patients. Why can't we see a doctor? Why can't we get in? Why can't we see a nurse? Oh, because they were sitting here for a couple minutes getting ready for the TikTok to do their little shuffle dance. I'm sorry, what? Where is any of the evidence of any of these claims? Let's just listen to them again and see if he has any evidence of any of this. Can't we see a doctor? Why can't we get in? Why can't we see a nurse? Oh, because they were sitting here for a couple minutes getting ready for the TikTok to do their little shuffle dance. Does he think that there are lines out the door of hospitals on every single door of every hospital? This is so stupid. This is so painfully stupid. I don't even know how to counter this. This is just making shit up he literally has nothing he's just making shit up all right well listen 404 come back later we're going to be talking about other stuff later okay relax it's good okay fine Go fine take your time maybe it's these shuffling people waving their arms were all on break and unnecessary at a time of crisis fine fine but i have seen more than enough videos of choreographed dancing now, these people Who aren't cares? good at dancing. Okay, this is important. They're not good at dancing. Why is that important? But Why is that important? Why is that important? Someone at least taught them what the dance was. You don't get someone on a 15-minute break and say, okay, everybody dance. We're going to film it. You say, here are the moves. So that probably takes a little while. Now, more importantly, some of these videos aren't just like a basic 30, second, you know, uh, cor uh, 30 seconds of choreography where they do like two steps forward, two steps back, shuffle to the left, shuffle to the right, wave your arms. Like you could teach someone that very quickly and based on their you know, lack of skill, I'd imagine it was very, very quickly. But some of these are more intricate than that. Some of these show the doctors in multiple settings. There's in this, I don't, again, this video is probably not a good example because I don't know if it's a music video or what the deal is. But I've seen other videos where you have nurses wearing the same clothes in different parts of the hospital. So you mean to tell me they cleared out this part of the hospital, moved them around and had them, had them dance in a specific way? Tim Pool is so insulated from COVID-19. He's so insulated from COVID-19. He doesn't even know what hospitals are doing. Let me explain something to you. Did you know that most wings of many hospitals are are closed down right now? AKA, if it's a non-emergency wing and you're in like tier four lockdown, they close the non-essential parts of the hospital. You can still get telehealth, but you're not going to go into your general practitioner for an appointment. You're going to call and that wing will be closed down and will be empty. Or it may be requisitioned, but not every single, like Tim Pool thinks, Tim Pool lies and tries to tell people that, oh, well, um, you, you know, every single, they're saying that hospitals are overloaded. And yet one of the buildings that doesn't have any emergency rooms in it is, is not being used and they're dancing in it. Yes, 
The point is that they're trying to make room for the emergency centers. As it turns out, a proctology room where you can get your ass investigated for a boil or something like that is not going to be very useful when you're having lung failure. Hmm. Weird how that works out. It's almost like Tim Pool has no fucking clue what he's talking about and that even a surface level of research would have revealed that he's talking out his ass. Let's continue. That takes all day. Or oh, was the hospital closed? Either way, I look at that and I get angry. I get angry because Fauci has been lying. You don't get angry, you clown. You have a skate park in the bottom of your cushy studio. You are making millions of dollars. You're not angry. You're insulated. You coward. You pathetic, embarrassing liar. You have blood on your hands, Tim Pool. And a lot of people are going to remember that for a very long time. I hope they never forget. To us. And they say it's for our own good. It's important the hospitals got the PPE and the regular people didn't. Fine. But I don't like being treated like lesser than or disposable. And I'm sure a lot of people— You don't. got it, Cheeto. Now, look, I'm, I, I work a lot. I work all, all the time. Uh, my business is successful. Yeah, you work a lot from the comfort of your studio that has a literal skate park underneath it. You sit in a $1,000 chair— with your uh, with your heaters and 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 AC and comfy uh comfy lighting and your art all over the walls you work a lot and yet you're telling doctors that they can't ever even dance if they aren't literally working 24 hours a day if they do anything for morale you're saying that they're dancing on the graves of people again blood on the beanie. You have blood on your beanie, you embarrassing coward. You sad excuse of a broadcaster. Well, I'm fortunate enough to have gotten out of these cities, but a lot of other people aren't. So I can only imagine other people are just way more angry, way angrier than I am when they see this stuff. No, no one is angry except people who want more Americans to die. This like is you. this is the big the big breaking news. Right, and, and let me let me let me tell you something. One TikTok nurse did lose her job. Because she was bragging about how the, the rules for wearing a mask were pointless or whatever, and then she ended up getting fired. So you mean to tell me, you can come out and say, this is ridiculous nonsense, I'm not going to do it, you're fired. But you can spend a day going around the hospital doing various dances over and over again, no matter how much criticism comes out, and it's fine? I'll tell you this, and then we'll read the Fauci stuff. This is because everybody probably hates it, but they found their audience, and that's all that matters. Literally nonsensical argument. A, a nurse who worked for a hospital was spreading information that makes the disease worse, and that hospital decided to fire her. And he tries to say that's because of cancel culture, and that nurses doing completely harmless activity, aka dancing on their TikTok whenever they want to, obviously these are not nurses that are on literally working at the moment, are you for real? And and that's what needs to be worked out about. But a woman who goes against her profession to make the pandemic worse and gets fired for it is somehow the like the cancel culture, not what this fucker is doing. Tim Tim Pool is the avatar of cancel culture. Right wingers are the avatars of cancel culture. They want you to think that it's everyone else, but it's always them it is always them at the end of the day matters that's it let me tell you how social media censorship works you've got various subcultures and groups of people some of these groups post really insane things racist garbage nonsense and they have their community and then twitter and social media bans that community and they're gone that's it people stop posting this stuff okay then you have dancing nurses. Well, social media companies don't care about that, so they leave it alone. Yeah, because they're not fucking stupid like you are, Tim Cast. Like you are, Tim Pool. They're not fucking stupid because they know that a nurse can dance on their free time. Do you think nurses—listen, 
Let me just tell you something. Nurses, a lot of nurses and doctors are working 80 hour, 80 hour weeks. They're working 12 hour shifts. They're going to go home and they're going to spend some time with their friends, with their loved ones, things that humans need. Tim Pool's entire argument is about asking more from the people who have already given everything. We had Doc Midnight come on here and tell us just how bad, a personal story, but this is not even close to the beginning. Do you know how bad it's gotten for nurses in this country? Do you know? Has anyone, did Tim Pool even take a little bit of time to look into the mental health struggles that nurses and doctors are going through right now? This motherfucker sitting on his, in his thousand dollar chair on top of his skate park studio is trying to tell nurses to do more, trying to say they're dancing on the grave because they made a video at some point, at some point during this year, um, in which they were dancing. While Tim Pool actively pushes anti-mask propaganda, anti-vaccine propaganda, and does so from the comfort of his hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars studio with a skate park underneath it. You tell me that that isn't the biggest slap in the face that you can possibly imagine. Devious Chilster says, I had to act as an impromptu suicide counselor for my EMT aunt because of all the death that she's seen this year. Do you know how many people I know in the medical profession who have just been inundated with death? Do you think that Tim Pool has seen anyone die ever in his life? Yet he's going to sit here and he's going to cast uh, hatred and anger enough to get 400,000 views of anger towards nurses and doctors. Because that's what his stupid, disgusting, antisocial political ideology teaches him. The right in America is monstrous. Make no motherfucking mistakes about it. You hear me? The right in America is so sick. They're so twisted and greedy and depraved that they will sit on top of a literal skate park and tell nurses who are every single day at risk of COVID that they can't dance on TikTok or else they're dancing on graves. Fuck you. Fuck you. You are the enemy of every decent person on the planet Earth, Tim Pool. You and your coverage is malignant, is destroying society. People like you contribute to death. You and your blood-soaked motherfucking beanie. And the worst part about it is that you can't even do it well. You're a shit broadcaster. Your show is boring. Your research is bad. And guess what? We will replace you. We will replace you. That's right. Me. Maybe not literally me. But people like me, people who are willing to put a modicum of work into their reporting, into their research, into their arguments, into their humanity, we will replace you. And it might take us a while because you have the help of fucking daddy coke and whatever else shadow money flows into your stupid studio. But you will be defeated because your product is inferior. In addition to you being a malignant monster. And contributing to an ideology that is killing hundreds of thousands of Americans. We will replace you. And you will be forgotten. You will be remembered as the stupidest people who ever walked this earth. People who, in, who invited mass death for no other reason than their own personal gain. You think that Tim Pool cares about any of this? Really? Really? Tim Pool sitting comfortably recording on his, again, in his literal professional studio on top of a skate park. And he can't even muster a drop of humanity. We will replace you, Tim Pool. Your time has come. You and Rush Limbaugh and Tucker Carlson, your time has come. People are not buying your bullshit anymore. And I'm glad for that. And I can't, and I just got to say, it can't happen soon enough. 
it cannot happen soon enough. Let's see what else Tim Pool has to say. And if anything, they promote it because journalists will start promoting it. Then more and more people start doing it. Then you get massive waves of really cringeworthy, annoying, and insulting videos. These people dancing. Why? Why? Imagine if I went to a funeral and I started just dancing. I'm like, get the TikTok out, everybody. We're going to do a choreographed dance right in front of the casket. You mean like you're doing right now? It's funny. He frames... TikTok, he fame, frames nurses dancing in their free time as dancing on the graves while he is literally pushing misinformation that will kill people. While he has spent a year pushing misinformation that is objectively led to the deaths of Americans. And yet he says they're the ones dancing on the graves. No, Tim Pool. You are skating on the graves of 350,000 Americans. You are skating on the unfathomable heroicism of nurses and doctors who have in many cases subjected themselves to lifelong damage in order to save the lives of everyday Americans. And you, from your position of privilege, from your position as one of the internet media elite, you millionaire with a skate park fucking studio, are dancing on the graves of 350,000 and counting of your American fellows. So I hope you've thought about what the sort of future you're helping to usher in is. But I know you haven't because you're too stupid to think. They think dancing in a hospital during a pandemic when people, when 300,000, 327,000 people or so were dead, they've shut down the economy, everybody's suffering. It's like going to a funeral wearing bright colors. Or no, 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 I'm sorry, they're wearing their scrubs. It's like going to a funeral, all wearing funeral clothes, and then doing a, yo, wave your arms, everybody, woo, and start clapping and cheering. For, are you nuts? Yeah. And while all that is going down, this is what we get from the likes of Dr. Anthony Fauci. The New York Times put out the story on uh, Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, I wonder why. Many of you may have noticed uh, I wasn't working on Christmas Eve, Christmas, or the day after Christmas, and there's a reason for that. Well, most people aren't consuming news. Most of the news would fall on de on deaf ears. Just, you know, I actually saw... Tim Pool doesn't know what news is. Let's be honest. Tim doesn't know what the news means. He is accusing... He's accusing New York Times of a conspiracy to hide the truth. While he literally doesn't do a drop of research and tells people that nurses are dancing on their graves. This is just ridiculous. This is, this is insulting. And this should be considered an insult to the, the entire world of journalism, of broadcasting, of YouTubing. YouTubers should treat this as an insult. That's how low this is. A lot of YouTubers who tried to upload on Christmas and they were like, okay, I'm deleting the video and I'll post it back again next week because well, no, because I'm not going to talk it about it again. Lumpy and people and are spending time. I've with done it enough. The New York Thank Times you. puts out this very, very critically important story on Christmas Eve, a time when most people probably will not see it in the world of PR. Let me tell you something. It is said that Apple always does their releases on Tuesdays. I don't know if that's still true, but it was true for a long time. And the reason is on Monday, everybody's eyes are like glazed over and they're like, oh, I can't wait for the week. That's funny because I do my cover. I do my streams on Mondays and they're real successful. This is stupid. This is so stupid. Again, on Tuesday, they're back in the thick of things like, all right, it's Tuesday. I'm at work. Here we go. You put out on Tuesday and Internet traffic is slowly on the up. So on Sunday, traffic slowly returns. Saturday is the worst day. Sunday, it starts to return. Monday's OK. Tuesday is high. Wednesday's the best. You put your release out on a Tuesday, Wednesday hits hard. You get a lot of traffic, a lot of views, a lot of shares. Goes down a little this Thursday, is stupid. goes down a this lot. This is stupid, like, PR bullshit. This is literal bullshit. It's completely variant depending on, on anything else. Listen, at this point, all he does is spend the rest of the video rambling about Anthony Fauci being a liar. We don't need to, we don't even need to watch the rest of this. I've said my piece. I think I made it clear how I feel about... Tim Pool, and also 
I've made some of the facts available too. You notice that Tim Pool doesn't actually report any facts. He just blathers on in a way that conveniently will make the co make COVID worse and conveniently plays directly into the political motivations of the right wing. It's very weird, isn't it? Makes you think. Tim Pool constantly uh, signals about how he's Mr. Centrist and he likes to look at both sides and yet every single video that he does plays directly into the narrative pushed by Donald Trump. Very, very interesting. Very interesting, though. Yeah, he doesn't even know what he's talking about on this because brands have different success on different days depending on what they do. It's completely dumb. Anyway. So, yeah. It all started with this, and he decided to make it worse by making a video. But just so you know... This post by Tim Pool has 17.4 thousand likes on Twitter. That's a lot of people. Tim Pool is reaching a lot, a lot of people. I'm not going to make fun of his hair. He doesn't have any. What are you talking about? He doesn't have any. Thought Slime did not do a ratio. Um, no. But he was close. Thought Slime did do a good job. But this comic... Do you think, yeah, bald men are kings. I agree. But I can't make fun of his hair when he's bald. You know, he doesn't have any. I'll miss you, dad. I only wish that I could have held your hand one last time. You know what's really sickening about all this? All of this sickening bullshit is that the entire time, people like Tim Pool, in fact, Tim Pool literally did it in the video. He literally said, oh, well, you know, 70-year-old people, they're at risk. What do you think is pictured in this? A dying 70-year-old. He's picture he's these are the people he advocated for letting die. He advocated for letting the situation get so bad that it will kill most people that are over in that age group. Not most people in the country, but it will kill a lot of people in that age group. The most people who die are in that age group. And guess what? You want to know it's even worse? Yeah, oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, I saw it in the video. You can see it in uh, Tim Pool's videos. If you ever watch any of Tim Pool's videos, you can see the art hanging up. And he thinks he's a centrist. We're going to do a little quick segment on this little guy because I want to show you some of the other examples we have of this guy's work. And you can judge for yourself whether you think this motherfucker's a centrist. Yeah? Let's take a look. Let's look at this guy. some of this guy's other little pieces of work. Because I don't know. You know, I find it very interesting. I find it interesting to see. Let's take a look. Oh, look, he did another one. He did another one about the exact same topic. Look at that. American soldiers rushing in, getting blown up. I'm hit. I need a medic. And there you have the dancing medics. Ah, oh, yes. This is real realistic. This is definitely what's actually happening and not disgusting, manipulative propaganda that clearly feeds into a right-wing narrative. Oh, so centrist. You're so centrist. How, how centrist of you? People need to get way better and way harsher about calling out propaganda. Really, really bad. Guess what? We're not done yet either. I'm going to show you another one. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Here's another real cringe one. And I have some bad news for some fans of... I might be canceling someone here, unfortunately. Here we go. Here's this comic. I know you're mad at me, darling. I just love this country so much it hurts. In fact, I want to love this country... All night long. And then you have a picture of a multi-rainbow-haired SJW uh, imagining, you know, with an A-cab and kill all men and, and stuff in the background. Um, imagining fucking the, the hot, patriotic American. God damn it, Shoe. God fucking damn it, Shoe. God fucking damn it, Shu, on December 21st. Shu, holy fucking shit. You've got to stop this shit. Listen, I know a lot of people say Shu's really, really nice. And I, I, in my experience with Shu, it's been really great. But what the fuck? Shu, you're literally helping promote a guy who's churning out disgusting right-wing po propaganda. This is embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. Shoe on head. Holy fuck. 
And it doesn't do much for... <sighs> yes. Is this an anti-shoe zone? I don't want to be anti-shoe, but what the fuck? What the fuck? This is literally... This was December 1st of this year. She she added 1.6 thousand likes to this guy's post. And it's literally 2014 era anti-SJW bullshit. This is, this is literally the exact joke that's been being made since the anti-SJW era. Oh, there's stupid, stupid commies secretly want to fuck hot Americans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. You want to know? Let's see. Let's take a look at some of those fucking hot Americans that, that they, uh, you know, that, that want to get, you know, you want to fuck. Let's take a look. Let's go take a look at them. Oh, we got, ooh, ooh, ooh. We got this one. What about this hot pro-American? You want to fuck this guy? Look at how hot and sexy that American is. Ooh. Oh, man, he's so nice. Oh, what a hottie. What a hottie hardcore American propagandist. Ooh, ooh, baby. You want to see another one? Let's take another one. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Here we go. We're going to get another one here. Oh, look at that. He's even doing the meme. He's doing the shoe on head meme. Oh, what a hottie. What a hottie. Oh, God. Want to fuck Tim? Oh, don't you want to fuck pro-American Tim Pool? Woo. Oh, boy. You want to do another one? Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some of this up here. Ooh, you ready? You ready for a hot one? Here we go. Here's a hot American pro-American you know, internet poster. Oh man, those those multi-haired SJWs. Ooh, you just wanna. Ooh, you know you want him on you. You want him between your legs, don't you? Mmm, delicious, delicious, incredible. But it doesn't. It doesn't end there. Oh hey, hey Merrick. Hey, how you doing, Merrick? What What do you have to say? Shoe has come after you before? Well, that's unfortunate. I know. I don't know. Listen, my personal experiences with Shoe have been fantastic. Shoe seems very nice to me, but God, that is cringe. Holy shit. How cringe can you fucking be? How fucking cringe can you be? Holy shit. I'm sorry. That's so cringy. And also, I got some more. I'm overeating? What do you mean I'm overeating? Overreading? Overreading? What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm overreacting? To what? To this comic being cringe? Are you that defensive? Yo, that's so cringy. Holy shit, nuts. I'm sorry. I love you, nuts. You've been here a long time, but Jesus fucking Christ, that's so fucking cringe. Are you like are you like a mega are you like a mega like shoe defender or whatever? Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll look at that in just a second, Gina. I got it up on here. Bye. Are you leaving? Are we getting, is everybody, are people getting mad? I don't know. Whatever. Let's take a look at this. I want to show you some of the other comics this guy puts out. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Here's another good one. My grandpa, dad, and older brothers were all police. I've always wanted to follow their footsteps Believe it or not, today's my first day on the job. Haha, <laughs> so wish me luck. Officer Runt, reporting for duty. I'm gonna do my best. Kill the pigs, burn it all. That guy's filming. Help, get his phone. He's got a gun. And it says Seattle PD in the background. You get it? Because this is definitely what Seattle looks like. The town I literally live in right now. Let me get another one for you. Don't worry. Guess what? There's another one. Take a look at this. Shut down another restaurant today. What can you do? Orders are orders. But, 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 we officers saw an oath to uphold the Constitution. And then the officers look at her and go, bah! <laughs> Get it? Because they should, they should be, they should be derelicting their duty as officers in order to enforce the Constitution. Hey, remember? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who was it who was pushing that narrative? Oh, yeah, it was the Nazis. The Nazis on Parlor we covered the other day. Remember when the Nazi groups were all towing the line and saying it's apparently a dereliction of the Constitution to do what your governor says for you to do? 
and instead cops should disobey and arrest politicians? Yikers. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, this is the type of art that this guy does. This is the type of art that this guy fucking puts out. You're a shoe simp? It's okay. Listen, you can simp for shoe, but I just think that's really cringe. This is like commenting unironically positively on a Ben Garrison image. Like, come on. Yeah, his Biden comic. Yeah, people followed him. I know there's like a bunch of people who follow him because uh, of his Biden comic. But this is copaganda. Yeah, they're really objectifying. Wait, it gets worse, Gina. Look at this. Here you go. There's another one. Look, it gets worse. Look, she's got a bazooka here. She's got a bazooka and a baton. This is just straight copaganda. 100% copaganda. You can sign up right here, Lumpton Pearl. You got it. Real cringe. It's just raw copaganda. Just jerking off. This is literally just jerking off cops. All the cops in the all the cops are like, oh, all the cop lovers are like, ooh, ooh boy. Oh my god. I can't wait till I find my sexy cop wife. Mm, my sexy anime cop wife. I love it. Ooh. I can't wait till they put the boot down my throat. Oh. Biden sucks so much. COVID is fake. <coughs> Fucking cop coomers. Get the fuck out of here. I always say no kink shaming, but I'm going to kink shame that. If you're like a boot licking simp, I'm going to fucking kink shame the shit out of you. If you're like a boot licking simp who actually unironically um, simps like that, Jesus fucking.